Ahoy everyone, and welcome to SSL episode 668. You'll remember, in previous episodes, we holed up in Portobello, Panama to wait for some bad weather to go through that was holding us back from making our way to San Blas. Well, I'm happy to say the weather has finally passed, but leaves us today with a dead zone, so we decided to take advantage and make our way around the point to Linton Bay. This is where we're gonna put into a slip for a couple of days, get a welding repair done on some stainless steel, and get ready to head to the sand blast. So we should be finished up here in a couple of days and ready to head further east over towards the sand blast island. So we are just coming into the bay now, as you can see. At Linton Bay, we could put into the dock for a couple of days, get some work done on the boat, fill up with fuel, and then carry on our way to sand blast when the wind is forecast to turn favorable in about two days time. Perfect. Yeah, I've there's, these monkeys. There's monkeys, but yeah, they'll trick you to coming in and say, oh, okay, this food. And then they'll grab you by the hair and go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy so monkeys over here. So it's a good idea to go with machete there. <laughs> or, yeah, just leave the monkeys alone. <laughs> That's beautiful. We'll come up wind, we'll drop the main cell. Then you'll have a couple minutes also to okay. finish putting these Okay. Down. So we're going to go right, we got to go between all these boys, or all the boats, rather. Yeah. He never sleeping. He play a lot. Help daddy, try to help daddy. <laughs> and now he's busy with uh, your uh, water bottle. We don't have much to do in Linton Bay. My main objective was just to get a new brace made for our wind generator pole to help carry the load of the new and much more powerful Nature Power wind generator, which I'm happy to say has still been doing amazing. Except, of course, on days like today when there is no wind. But if the forecast holds, we should be well on our way to Sandblast very soon. For those of you unfamiliar with Linton Bay, it is a beautiful little marina, but literally it is in the middle of the jungle. So you can do just about anything you need here, but when you need to go to town, it's about an hour away. ¿Y tu nombre ¿Cuánto, es? ¿cuánto? José. José. Sí, José. ¿Y usted? Un placer, Sandra. Un placer. Eh, Gracias, ¿Cuántos José. pies cuánto pie tiene el, el barco, el velero? ¿Cuántos pies tiene? Uh, 51. 51. Okay. Gracias. Vas a ver. ¿A ti? Creo que. Sandra. ¿Sí? ¿Voy a Richie, por favor? Sí, voy a pagar entonces. Time we are trying. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Alright, it's three days later. It was calm yesterday. It was calm last night. So hopefully the seas are gonna be more calm today. We're expecting light, you know, not quite favorable winds, but 
hopefully if the seas are down we're still going to make it okay because i'd rather just you know motor there in calm weather than get pounded the crap out of in non-favorable weather we'll call it so we are just setting sail now we got the main sail up engine running heading for the pass and out to the open ocean with the hopes that it is not rough otherwise yeah i think we will not challenge it again so fingers crossed we'll see what we get but we are on our way there now yeah richie having some coconut Hey Richie, having some coconut? Yeah, I see. Shoot to daddy. <laughs> Shoot to daddy. Yeah? Yeah, you got some coconut. Yum. Good. Do you want? Good coconut. Do you want to give me some pieces? Thank you. That's it. Mm, nice day, huh? Beautiful, Mark. Look at that. Beautiful, Captain. Very nice. Sunny, nice breeze. Beautiful weather. See? Yeah, this is definitely more like what we had in mind. <laughs> this is the kind of sailing we've been waiting for, hoping for for a long time. We got it. So basically, we would have been straight head on the wind if we had just gone down the coast. It's what we would have done, but I decided to motor out straight out into the ocean about 10 miles first on a starboard tack and then tack over to port side and that puts us almost on a direct ley line straight to Chichame at the head of the sandblast. So it looks like we're going to be able to get to sail about 90% of the way there, so a huge advantage. But we've also had a couple of ships come along in our path and this guy especially, Polar Brazil, he just called us on the radio to tell us that we were on a collision course and asked us which side we wanted to pass on. So he just adjusted his course to take us port to port. So very nice, much appreciated. It's a big one, huh? I think it can take up to 12,000 containers. Yeah, it's a big one. It's, uh... it takes a lot for him to adjust course. <laughs> polar Brazil, Polar Brazil, Polar Brazil. Sailing vessel, sophisticated lady. One six, over. Go ahead, this is uh, for, uh, this Polar Brazil. One four. One four. Oh, sophisticated lady, this is Polar Brazil. Go ahead. Yeah, good day, Polar Brazil. We just wanted to pass along a thank you for adjusting your course. We just wanted to say we very much appreciate it, and we hope you have a great day on the water. Okay, long voyage, and have you on your uh, out, uh, trench, channel one, six. Roger that. Sophisticated clear, one, six out. Long voyage. Nice. Two, 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 long voyage. Two, two, two. Yeah. The weather came through. <laughs> it's beautiful. And uh, we're exactly on course. We're just pinching up wind, but we're right on the exact course we need. Amazing. We're almost there. We got 12 miles left to go. 17 knots right on the forward bow, port side. And we've got 11.6 miles to go. Yeah. At a course of 108. And our course over ground is 106. Speed over ground just over six. So we're just in the niche. <laughs> just riding the wind just as far as we can and it's given us the reward we were hoping for. So it's been a good day. We're almost there. Looking forward to arrival. Yeah, and we have a little match race here with another sailor. <laughs> now here at the edge, everybody comes together. Tiki is happy as well. Hola! He wants some love. He wants some love. Yeah. Yeah, Tiki. So let's have a look outside. Beautiful ocean. Beautiful weather. Beautiful lady. <laughs>
amazing. What is the captain? Uh, yeah, this is Chicha Man on the left. Chicha Man on the left, yeah. The main anchorage is right in the middle between the two, so we're going in there first and see if we got room to anchor. Like, uh, <laughs> there, there are plenty of boats there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cross of the year, we are in Zambla. Yeah, Zambla, Zambla. Sí, muy bonito. El barco, Pura vida. Barco, ¿Ah? barco, barco entallado. Just stand by on the okay. Testing the anchor. Test this. Worked. Perfect. Jack. The islands of Chichime are basically the entry point to the sandblast. And coming into these islands is always a challenge because there are reefs everywhere. And they're not always accurately marked on the charts. So that's why we abandoned our first attempt once we realized that we couldn't make it in daylight. I mean, you can make it in here in the dark if you really trust your chart plotter. But given the options and how close the reefs are here, I always choose to enter here in broad daylight. You'll find the same is true for most of the sandblasts, but you'll see that as we go. <laughs> Amazing. El paraíso sandblast. And now the anchor. anchor. So 120 or 110? Yeah, that's 120 right there. Okay. Okay. 
I find it difficult to explain the sandblast with regular words, but as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So here's a few thousand words that I think do a pretty good job. You tell me. I'll go for it. Ricardo. E eh, Ricardo. Che fai? Non si fanno queste cose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basta la che. And then, <laughs> as always happens in Panama sooner or later, the rain comes. With the wind and the gusts and the squalls and a decreased visibility, you can't see shit. Yeah, it's been coming down for almost an hour now and just doesn't stop. But, we're collecting lots of water. One good thing. <laughs> but even with all our waterproofing, <laughs> this thing still leaks. When the water comes down this hard, not much you're gonna do to stop it. Lots of free showers coming in that bucket. This side definitely collects better than that side. But the wind now has us turned around so we're right up against the island. So we have to keep an eye on that because obviously it's very shallow right behind us. So we gotta be careful we don't get the rudder banging on the bottom. So busy keeping an eye out for that and just paying attention to the weather. That's settled down right now, 14, 15 knots. It's been up around 24, 25 for quite a while. So finally getting a little bit of a break from the wind, but not much from the rain. <laughs> We're getting a lot of rain, but oh, well, what can you do? Batten down, make sure the boat's not in any danger and collect rainwater for showers, <laughs> which is exactly what we're doing. So we filled up a couple of buckets already and then just keep transferring it to our water bottles, the big blue water cans here. So we fill them up for reserve because obviously we don't have sunshine, we don't want to use the water maker too much because that uses a lot of extra power that we have to remake from the engine. But if we have a lot of rain coming down, it makes sense to store the rain so we don't have to use the water maker. All in all, it's a win-win. But that's what we've been doing for years and we'll continue to do so as long as we have rain. But hopefully, we see a little sunshine later on today. Because we all need a little sun. Sometimes.
and you can see here we got a big patch of rain clouds. This part is already past us. This is what's coming out. This is the violet color. And I believe the red is stationary. But you can see where it outlines on the island. So we're kind of right in the middle of the Chichime set. And we got rain for about five miles all around. Continues running. Ah, we gotta die. <laughs> <laughs> and action. Ooh, first uh, time exploring an island. How do you feel? Happy. Excited. Yeah. Andorinha. <laughs> Andorinha. Ciao, take you back soon. Bye bye. Lovely, nice shot. Okay. okay, can you put this inside? Yep. Now the trick is not to Yeah. Okay. Got everything? Yeah, yeah. push you out. Okay, ciao. Ciao. Bye bye. Two, uh, five, right? Yeah. Five. Alright, see you then. See ya. Ciao. Don't get too crazy on the boat without us. <laughs> Yay! Some blast, some blast. So, no shadows. Wow, look at this beautiful turkeys. Hear the boat? Yeah. We have here like uh, what's happened when you don't survive a storm, an old boat. of a button. You're recording that in now? Yeah, I am. Oh, we're talking over it? Uh, that's okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's how it goes on the, on the Between Two Sheets podcast. Welcome to the Between Two Sheets podcast. I'm your host, James Evenson, and we are here with none other, other than, with none other than sailing sophisticated lady, Rick and Maddie and little Richard. You're all here. Man, he is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. He takes after his mother. No. They're always cute. <laughs> <and that's cool. laughs> 
Yeah, where do you get the blue eyes from then? Oh, yeah. My grandma. My mom. He's got your pretty <laughs> eyes. My mom. Uh, eyes. Rick. <laughs> so, man, I, I thought we would just sit down and talk about some gear and talk about a little bit of your story and uh, and maybe some things that uh, you could can relay to our viewers on, you know, things you've learned over the years about all the tech that you have. Because you review a ton of stuff, right? Well, that's always been my gig. I mean, I did that a long time before I was ever known as sailing sophisticated lady. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember, but... Many, many years I was always doing, you know, original drone reviews, stuff like that, when they were before we just had the beginning drones. But yeah, I've always enjoyed the tech and the stuff behind what makes it. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot to put, turn on the, um, the <laughs> camera, so we gotta do it again. Okay, it's comics camera, I just started. I was wondering about that. I suck, man. <laughs> What is up, my beautiful people? This is the Between Two Sheets podcast. I'm your host, James, from the channel Sailing Zingaro, and I have a very special guest that I've never interviewed before, Rick from Sailing Sophisticated Lady. He is one of the original, maybe the original, sailing YouTuber, and uh, before that, he was just telling me, you, you used to do reviews. Can, can we just get back into that story real quick? 